Hey, how's it going? Today's video, I'm going to be talking about CBD drinks and what that is. Before we jump into drinks, we need to acknowledge what CBD stands for. CBD stands for cannabioid cannabioid oil, which which is one of the many chemical components known as cannabinoids found in cannabis plant. Unlike a well-known counterpart, THC, tetrahydrocannabinoid oil, CBD is non-psychoactive, which means it doesn't it does not produce the high or altered state on of consciousness that's typically associated with cannabis use. Uh, CBD has gained significant attention in recent years for its potential therapeutical properties that has been incorporated into various wellness and medical products. Uh, I don't know if there's any stigma attached to overall different products of that myself. I uh, prefer a coffee. Uh, some people prefer perhaps relax and take the time uh, relax, reflect on the things perhaps. That's the one way to look at it. Well, if anything, uh, over here we're going to be focusing on potential trends and opportunities. Uh, myself, I have seen some opportunities out there within the UK. Uh, there might be a big market uh, in different parts, uh, for example, US, North America. Uh, perhaps Canada, they're, they're already doing something there, uh, as well as perhaps there are some opportunities within uh, UK where you can develop a new product and perhaps agree on, you know, depending on what part you are interested in, developing a recipe, developing uh, perhaps or manufacturing different products, there is a new opportunity out there. CBD is non-psychoactive. Uh, it, it's perhaps it's been said by a scientist, right? <laughs> Not perhaps uh, by your mate that you on the street. I guess this is what I know, right? As mentioned, that CBD does not produce high or intoxicated effects when consumed. This makes it an attractive option for those seeking the potential benefits of cannabinoids without the associated euphoria. There is a long list of things what would potential benefits for people, but if anything, I don't know if uh, either how much of that has been tested since new pro it is a new product. I know coffee. I know how coffee works, and myself, I'm perhaps in the future, if not right now, I have some coffee in my house, right? What would my company's name? Uh, uh, so it's something that I'm interested in, if anything, what would speed things up with regards to perhaps your focus, motivation, perhaps get your day started, so I understand coffee very well, I do not understand CBD that much, but there are potentially, you can do your own research, understand all the benefits, uh, or perhaps some of the uh, pros and cons uh, of using anything, <laughs> as it might be a good thing, perhaps it's a bad thing, I'm not entirely sure. There are a lot of opportunities out there for people who are interested. Uh, there was, uh, last time I have seen it, was some time ago, perhaps six months ago, where they were looking for someone who was interested in developing a product uh, in UK, and it was a profit-sharing opportunity. I, I believe they would split all the profit, uh, some portion of it, and perhaps uh, <laughs> without naming company names, right? But well, perhaps it's a constant ongoing process where people are looking for new opportunities uh, or people who are interested in developing new brands. If I have to compare it to anything, it's so again, I don't know if uh, vaping can harm you, I don't know if CBD can harm you, your body. I don't know that right now. <laughs> But potentially there, there was a big trend, if it's still going on, perhaps people are still interested in vaping, right? <laughs> and how it, overall vaping can make you feel like. But either way, if anything, uh, in, over here, let's focus on the drinks. 
Uh, if I have to give uh, an, an example, uh, if anything, uh, one example that I can think of that would be, uh, I don't think CBD can harm your body, I don't think, but I'm not a scientist or anything, I haven't done enough research on this particular topic, but the, the, the diff different subjects, right? So. Uh, uh, I, I do spend a lot of time uh, in Europe, right, and there are some laws that you cannot take your t-shirt off in a car, especially if you're sitting in the front, because uh, because taking your t-shirt off would distract other people. I don't know <laughs> how that law came into play, right, but that that's uh, where I'm coming from, right. So if uh, you taking your t-shirt off would distract other people instead of focusing on what they're doing, right? <laughs> I don't know, people might wander off. I don't know if there's any ups and perhaps any uh, bad side of perhaps consuming this kind of drinks either way. Uh, but uh, <laughs> just because of other people, I guess. Some people do know what they're doing, so uh, I'm not worried about those people. I'm more worried about other people that might get distracted, I guess. Okay, let's take a look at CBD drinks and beverages infused with cannabinoids, CBD, right? And uh, <laughs> uh, these, part, uh, these drinks are part of a growing trend of CBD products that have gained popularity in recent years due to their potential health and wellness benefits. Uh, so most likely there are some benefits of, of consuming CBD oils, I guess. Some of the products can be CBD water. CBD infused water is a straightforward way to consume CBD. It typically contains a, spe a specific dose of CBD per bottle of serving. CBD water is often uh, marketed as a convenient and tasteless way to incorporate CBD in your daily routine. CBD tea, CBD tea, uh, teas are regular teas infused with CBD extract. These teas come in various flavors and are consumed like traditional teas. They can be relaxing and enjoyable way to consume CBDs. <laughs> CBD coffee, they even make, uh, they potentially can put it in almost everything. Similar to CBD's tea, CBD coffee is regular coffee infused with CBD's. It's often a convenient way to start your day. Alright, so there are some options there, which is, I guess, interesting. CBD energy drinks. So, if anything, myself, is something that I was looking at. Uh, and I have seen some opportunities in the market for energy drinks. So, I don't know what what is an objective of drinking those. They should uh, boost you up, or should they slow you down? <laughs> I don't know what, the, what, what problem or objective <laughs> people are trying to solve with energy drinks. CBD sodas and sparkling water. I'm not entirely sure what what is the price. Uh, idea itself, uh, perhaps it's popular, perhaps a lot of people are doing it's something different, perhaps something new. Is it natural? It might be natural, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> but uh, I'm not entirely sure what people try to uh, they are trying to solve and or just try trying different variations and see what would work. Uh, for those of you who are interested in learning more, I have uh, recently published a course. You can find this course on my company's website as well as I will attach a link to it and the link in the description to your company's website. You can uh, find this course in the course. I'm sharing a lot of information for people out there who are looking to start somewhere. Where to begin, what would be important, or what would be the lessons to learn. I have narrowed down to 12 lessons, and I'm, and I'm running it with a team called uh, Laborers of Hercules. Some of the fundamental things that I believe everyone should know of. I, I have published this course. I have uh, PDF files as well as video files for those of you who are interested. Uh, feel free to chat me if you have any questions, if you would like to learn more. Uh, if I were uh, asked myself where to begin, perhaps 10, 20 years from now, uh, before now, 
that would be some of those areas which I personally believe uh, are very important. Uh, thank you. It's important to note that effectiveness of CBD drinks can vary depending on the factors such as quality of uh, CBD used as well as dosage as well as individual differences in how people respond to CBDs. If you're considering trying CBD drinks, it's uh, uh, advisable to consult with a medical professional. Start with the low dosage, as you're probably aware of. I'm not encouraging anyone. Everyone should be an adult and be aware of any potential uh, interactions with uh, medications you, uh, if you're already taking anything. So always consult uh, your professional before doing that and uh, if I don't know what the market is like, if uh, it's uh, readily available up there. I I'm not entirely sure I have to, what, what, what I'm trying to say. There's opportunities, business opportunities to develop the drink. I'm not entirely sure where to find it. Can you find it online? Can you buy it? Uh, <laughs> either way, there might be some laws against it, I guess, uh, just depending on where you live. <laughs> there might be some pushback there as well. Or so perhaps the market should be regulated more, I guess. Uh, I never heard uh, people injuring themselves or harming themselves, but uh, there, there might be some uh, potentially problems with, in that particular area as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.